Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Cohen chat, finishing off this little girl from uh, Jade Summer's Chibi Christmas in the grayscale. So, um, just a quick disclaimer, this channel is for adults and is in no way, shape or form meant for children. Um, so I hope you're all alright, let's get started. We're going to start with the green on the wreath at the top. I do hope you're all okay, wherever you are in the world. So I want to say hello to all my subscribers, everybody who's uh, been here before and have returned, thank you. And if you've never been before and this is your first visit, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you'll come back and watch some more as well. We have a little chat about life, the universe and everything, including colouring. So, if you watch the weekly vlog, you'll have seen that um, on Saturday night, uh, Wales went into quite a serious lockdown. Um, they're calling it Tier 4. Basically, all non-essential shops have closed. There's um, no socialising with people outside your own household, unless you've you, uh, got a single one-person bubble that you've bubbled with. So, for instance, Paul's mum. Um, can still come and visit us and then on Christmas Day they were allowed two households to mix but now it's only one so it's going to be very difficult for a lot of people um, to uh, sort um, and you can only socialise with them on Christmas Day so I feel sorry for the people who haven't got all their presents yet um, the way I look at it is if you haven't got it in our house it's just tough we're not going to worry about it um, Jennifer's got tons of lots of little things. She hasn't got one big main present this year. She's too little to understand. And her birthday's at the end of January, so we've got to we've got to get stuff for that as well. So we've got lots of little things that she's going to enjoy playing with, and that's the main thing. Um, don't even know what I'm going to get for her birthday yet. I'll have to have a look. But pretty much got everything else. So we're we're set to go. We're set for uh, Christmas Day food. We've got some drinks in, and we're all fine. So it's all just about getting through to the rest of the week now and uh, yeah so we're all okay it was a bit depressing at the thought of it because my dad's 80th birthday is on um, Christmas Eve and I can still pop round and drop his present off which is what I'm going to do so at least he'll get that that's the main thing so even if I don't, which I won't, pop in for very long. I won't be popping in anyway, I'll just drop it off outside and wave at him <laughs> through the window. Um, but other than that, I'm alright. Um, yeah, it was a bit, it broke me for a bit, but I'm okay now. You know what it's like when you, you know, it's hard. I, I mean, I feel sorry for people who are on their own. I know somebody who's stuck in London, her family's in Wales. All her friends disappeared before these lockdowns and change of tears was announced. So she's stuck on her own um, for Christmas. She can't get anywhere. I do feel for feel for her very much because she's absolutely stuck. There's no way she can go anywhere. So it's for people like that. It's it is terrible. It is absolutely horrendous. I do feel for her. Um, I've got Paul and I've got Jennifer and that's all that matters. It's like I said, if if I hadn't had Paul and Jennifer, if I had been single, I would have, as soon as they were looking at locking down, I would have just moved back into my mum's and shut my house up. So I wouldn't have had to be alone. And I quite like being on my own. I actually do like being on my own. But I also think it's a long time, months and months and months, which we were in a uh, lockdown for before. So, I do feel for people like that. I really, really do. So it's, it's it's not good, not good at all. So, so recently I have been colouring lots of various different things. I've coloured started one picture in the creatures of the night colour in heaven i know it's not christmas um but i gotta be honest i'm already feeling the christmas fatigue i've still got a few books i want to colour in and i'm going to keep colouring christmas to the end of the month but i'm not i don't think i'm going to bust a gut about it and i'm just going to colour pictures i want to so if i want to colour another picture in chibi girl's christmas grayscale 
Chibi Christmas grayscale in June or April. I'm going to do it. After this year, anything goes. It really, really does. Anything bloody goes. It's been a hell of a year. We've all suffered. We've all had hard times. Sod it. Sod it, that's what I say. There's no rules anymore. There is no rules. There are no rules at all. It's all about the um, surviving now. Let's just get through it until whatever happens, happens. Um, we will we'll have to see because who knows what's going to happen next. I mean, I was reading a list of all the people who had died this year. Um, and I was reading January's and I was like, God, I thought he died years ago. So that just goes to show how long this year feels. It feels like it's been a very, very long year, but yeah. So it's my last day in work today when you watch this. I'm obviously filming this on Monday night, but my last day in work uh, for six days is Tuesday. And then I think this pen's running out, even though I've never actually used it. I think it's just the way I'm using it, actually. That's better. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, in work after Tuesday. So Wednesday, I've got Paul's and, uh, presents to wrap up and Jennifer's presents to wrap up. And then it's a matter of just getting everything tidy, ready for Christmas Day. And making sure it's all nicely sorted. Um, but yeah. I've been watching uh, my usual lot of YouTube. Um, so sort of like I've been watching um, a channel called uh, Flow Skate, which is ice skating. I mention it in the weekly vlog, which if you watch that, you'll see that next week. Watching uh, Days with Jordan the Lion as well. Um, one of my favourite. He's recently on a three-part vlog with um, Todd Fisher, who is Carrie Fisher's brother and Debbie Reynolds' son, where he shows you around his house uh, in Vegas and where Debbie lived in the last years of her life with him, and some of the her collection, which he still has some of her collection, which is nice to know. It hasn't all been sold. He's got certain pieces that she kept, and it's nice that they've kept them. Um, so yeah, that was nice. Um, just started watching a channel. Um, I don't know what the channel's called, but it's a series of documentaries. Let me see if I can find out what the channel's called. The channel it's on is called Silver Screen Classics. And what I'm watching is a documentary series called Hollywood, um, The Pioneers. So it says episode one, The Pioneers, but I think it's actually called Hollywood, The Pioneers. There is a book that goes with it, which I have got, but I haven't read yet. It's up on my... Um, shelves to be read. So I want to just watch the documentary first and then I'll have a, a read of the um, the book as well because next year I'm going to read and watch a lot more films. I'm going to watch a lot more films and read a lot more documentaries and books on, sorry, read a lot more books on Hollywood and the stars. I've got um, a book about Warner Brothers up there. I've got a book, book on the films of Clark Gable. I've got another Moon West. I've got another Cary Grant. Uh, what else is up there? There's um, a book of something to do with dead Hollywood stars. It's not uh, the one I really want, which is on my list. Then there's a book on called All the Gin Joints, which is like cocktails and stars. <laughs> it's really fascinating stuff. Um, but I, I like all this kind of stuff, so... I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a lot more of that. I might start... I wanted to start um, a, a blog on Hollywood and classic Hollywood. But there are some films I want to watch that I haven't watched for a long time. And there are some films I've got that I haven't watched at all yet that are classic Hollywood. And I want to get some more. So I know I'm getting some money for Christmas from Paul's dad. Actually, I've already got it in my bank. But I'm not going to spend it till I know what I've got from my brother. Because he usually buys me a book on Hollywood. Saying that, there are quite a lot of books that I want. But just in case, I'm not going to get anything until after. Once I've had that, I will, you know, it might not be something Hollywood, there's colouring stuff in there as well, and it might be a colouring thing he's got me. I don't know. But once I know 
what I've got from Chris then I'll spend it on possibly Hollywood stuff. I still want the Mozart watercolour paints and I'll hopefully get them at some point but I really want to get I mean I've got books on my list from uh, my wish list of Jane Mansfield which was well it's one that's written by a friend of mine I really want to read it I've got uh, Jean Harlow I've got Valentino um, oh there's loads um, there's Dottie Pondell's book oh there's so much I want to to, to read so you know still thinking of doing changing the vinyl vlog to uh, a movie an entertainment channel so it's more sort of other things this is just pretty much coloring now and the weekly vlogs I don't really put a lot on there if we go out somewhere I might vlog it but uh, generally I don't put Marilyn videos up on here I don't put book reviews on here and most of the books I'm going to be reading in the new year will be Hollywood ones though fiction ones as well as Hollywood ones I will put on my my Hollywood my books blog I do need to do some more on that I might do some of that tonight or over the next few days when I'm off but we'll have to see because everything I do has got to be done when Jennifer's in bed because at the moment all she wants to do is sit on my lap and watch TV if we're watching TV or she wants me to play with her which is understandable but it's all me at the moment again it, it was all me obviously to start with and then it was a bit of both of us and now it's gone back to all me again I know at some point in the next few years it's going to be all daddy I, I would imagine I haven't done her trousers yet mm. Um, I would imagine it's going to be all daddy, so... And when it's all daddy, you know, I'll have more time to myself and he'll have no time. So, and I'm not going to feel sorry for him at all. <laughs> I, would. I would, it's not very nice. Um, having no time to yourself, it really isn't. So, um, it is very difficult. She's so lovely, and I don't want to upset her. So she just sits on my lap if we're watching TV. I can barely look at my phone because she tries to grab it. So I'm literally stuck there watching children's TV. <laughs> it's so much fun, not. So, yeah, it is what it is. So at the moment everything I need to do is why I haven't done much eBay and I'm not really busting a gut about it at the moment I'll start properly up again in the new year I had a sale the other day posted it today I haven't marked it off as dispatched I will do that in a minute um, but I've got to uh, you know fit things in when I can so I'm gonna have to make a proper plan in the new year what I do on what days what days um, what goes up on what days so that I can actually work my eBay on nights when I'm not doing colouring chats and colouring videos and there's still lots of videos I want to make and I've been really lazy I mean it is near the end of the year we've all had a hell of a year so I'm sure you'll forgive me if I feel like I don't feel like filming I have got still got to do the RTs of watercolour I haven't even started it yet um, they're around somewhere in a box but they've been put away I haven't looked at them since I got them I had a quick look and I put them away and uh, now I've just got to uh, wait for it to, um, to have time to do it and I normally do it in bits so and the first bit I've got to do before I film it is I mean the only thing I've actually done is I have sorted them out into colours so they're in the order they are on the back of the box that's it that's all I've done so far and then the next thing I'm going to do is let me just do that bit um, write out all the numbers in the swatch book so that when I do come to swatch it and do that part of the video it's it's the, the, that bit's done I'm actually going to use the bigger end otherwise it's going to be here forever now I never use the bigger end because I do find I, I make a mess with the bigger end 
because it's time I started practicing. <laughs> but it's going to take me forever, otherwise if I don't use a bigger end. Not too bad, actually. I'm going to use this point to get into there. So yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, so at the moment I'm thinking of going with as channel name movies, music and more um, and that will be everything other than colouring and the weekly vlog which will stay on this channel but for instance I will probably put any book reviews up on there um, if we ever get to go to a gig somewhere again or a record fair it will still go up on that site Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Christmas. Jennifer still doesn't really understand what Christmas is at the moment. So it's, uh, she knows that Santa, she recognises who he is. I don't think she realises what she he does, even though obviously Santa came to the nursery and gave them all a selection box this year. Um, I don't think she knows yet. I don't think she gets it quite yet. I think this will be the year that she realises and next year will be the year that it all goes manic. I don't think she really understood what her birthday was either this year, last, you know, in January. But this year, come in, 2021, she'll understand a bit more. So it's a matter of just uh, seeing. I like this picture, I think it's really cute. Yeah. Just what it is. Oh, hear me. Not feeling brilliant. Yeah. I didn't get much sleep last night. Jennifer, um, she had a nightmare and uh, woke up at 2 a.m. And I'd just woken up needing the loo and I heard her cry. And I thought, now is this crying or is it a night terror? Uh, I listened for a bit and she carried on and then she went quiet and she carried on. I thought, I'm mm, not sure, but I need the loo. As I went out, I heard a call for me. So I, I opened her door because I'd put the landing light on. Looked around, she was sitting in her cot looking upset. I said, you all right? She said, no. I said, you had a bad dream? She went, yeah. I said, all right then. I said, I'll just go to the toilet and mummy will be back give you a cuddle, okay? Because I was dying. So I went to Lou, came back, pulled her out, gave her a cuddle told her that when she's if she's dreaming she should put me in the dream and I'll chase all the nasties away I'm trying to make her feel better and eventually she went back down but uh, she didn't go to sleep came back in lay down this is just taking about half an hour mind ten minutes later she's crying again I go back in same thing this time I tell her that Rex needs her because she don't want to go back she wants to go downstairs and watch TV and I'm like no I'm not doing that We've got nursery in the morning. We're not doing that. And um, so I said to her, we'll go and uh, have a cuddle, which we did. And I said, look, look at Rex. He's really scared. Rex is her cuddly dinosaur. Well, one of her cuddly dinosaurs, because <laughs> she loves dinosaurs. And like all kids, loves cuddly toys. So I said, look, Rex is really scared. He needs you to protect him because he's had a bad dream as well. So will you protect Rex and go into bed with him? And she was like, yeah, I'm all right then. So I said, Rex will protect you and you'll protect Rex and you'll both be all right until morning. So this is like another half an hour. <laughs> so put it back down and she's fine. And I think, oh, great, she's going to go to sleep. Of course, as soon as I start relaxing, because I'm lying in bed listening, but she starts again, I'm thinking, no, there's nothing wrong with her. She's fine. She just wants me to go and get her out of bed, take her downstairs and watch TV. And if I do that, she's going to be grumpy guts in the morning. So I left her and she was chatting and grizzling and uh, for about 10, 15 minutes. And then she just went to sleep and she was fine. She got up fine this morning. She wasn't her cheerful self, which is, which is not surprising because she'd been up most of the night. Uh, well, good hour, maybe a bit more. Of course, I was up for more than that because, of course, 
even though she's quiet, I've got one ear open and I'm not sleeping properly. And it takes me ages to go back off. So she, <laughs> we get to nursery and she's really sullen and quiet. Not a normal, happy, cheerful, jumping around. Can't wait to get into nursery herself. So she just toddles off in, looking miserable. I said, don't worry. She just, she woke up in the middle of the night, so she's a bit tired. She was fine. Came to get her at um, one o'clock, just before one o'clock. Uh, spotted her through the window. She saw her, saw me and Paul, because Paul comes down when he can. And she started jumping up and down. She was so happy. So she'd been fine. She'd had a good day. And that's all that matters. So she hopefully won't have a nightmare tonight and she'll sleep straight through. But you never know with kids. I hope so, because I'm flipping knackered and she wouldn't let me sleep properly this afternoon. She does not want to sleep in the afternoon. Doesn't matter how tired she is, she is not having it. And she was tired, she was rubbing her eyes, she was yawning. Um, she came up here with me for a bit and we watched TV, um, but she wouldn't let me sleep, so. And she wouldn't go sleep, so. And if you put her in a cot, she'll just scream until you get her back out, so it's just not worth it. But she went up to bed early, she went up to bed about 10 to 7, 7 o'clock, something like that. Fun being a parent. Wouldn't be without her though. You could give me all the money in the world and I'd turn it down for her. It's amazing. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, this episode of The Pioneers and probably just watch this one episode because they're like 50 minutes when I finish this picture and I'll get this onto the computer so I can edit it together. For I'll probably put that on to edit tonight and then I should probably go to sleep because I'm quite tired. I've only got a little bit to do, I've got the background to do it. I'm going to do a light pink, I think. So, yeah, it's all good. I'm fine. Oh, I've got the, the hook. Now, that would normally probably be a silvery grey colour, wouldn't it? It doesn't have to be. Uh, should we do it? Oh, bubblegum, yeah, no, that's a nice bright one. Yeah, so I've still got a bit of a headache from not sleeping very well. And I got the ribbon, but I'll do that red. Um, and I am tired, so like I said, I'm going to have to just do this and get this uh, editing together ready um, before I go to bed. Um, and that's it. I want to do some more of my picture from of the night and from burlesque I haven't done touch that for ages but at the moment I'm uh, too tired like I said it's very hard for me to colour when I'm downstairs with Jennifer because she just wants to sit on me all the time which is nice I don't mind I love I love cuddling up with her and sitting with her but I can't do anything I might be able to read a book on my phone because I've got the Kindle app if I'm lucky while she's watching TV if she doesn't grab my thing but then she's talking all the time going oh look mummy mummy is a Rex I'm like oh yeah problem is I've seen all these videos so many times it's, ble it's a blessing when she asks for Bing or Peppa Pig or and I used to hate Peppa Pig I actually quite like it now and I've actually got her a DVD set of Peppa Pig so she can watch it when it's when it's not on because she can get upset she, she gets upset when things aren't on I'm like I can't control the TV Jen it's like it's just not on bless her but she's fine so I bought her eight DVDs and it's like nearly 10 hours of Peppa Pig episodes oh my god well she'll enjoy it that's the main thing so this week I'm hoping I might do it tomorrow I might I really want to watch It's a Wonderful Life which is my favourite Christmas film it is my absolute favourite film of Christmas I, I do. I absolutely love It's a Wonderful Life and I really want to watch it. I haven't watched it for a while. I love it. And I also want to watch uh, Meet Me in St. Louis, which is the, or Meet Me in St. Louis, uh, which is the Judy Garland film that has Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas in it. Because I love that film. But it's a wonderful life first because 
It's my favourite Christmas film. I've got no idea what films are on TV over Christmas. Mainly because Jennifer won't let me watch anything. <laughs> I can record them, that's the thing though. If I know there's something on I want to watch, I'll just record them and watch them later. Like, you know, I love Polar Express. It is one of my favourite things. I might have a look on my phone. I'm bound to be able to find a TV guy, aren't they? So, bound to be able to find a TV guide on there that gives me the um, main channels and the films. So, yeah. Well, this is going to be a short video tonight. I'm nearly finished. I don't mind that actually. It's quite nice to have a nice another one. I will try and do one more before Christmas Day. I might not though, because it's this week. Oh, I might do one Wednesday, put it up Thursday. Because I am planning on taking um, some time off from filming over Christmas. I'm not going to do... Uh, I'm going to finish the weekly vlog on Christmas Eve. Um, which is obviously Thursday, so we'll finish then. And I'm going to have the three days off. Um, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and then the Sunday and then I'll come back on the Monday the 28th which is a bank holiday in the UK because Boxing Day falls on a weekend so we've got Monday off so I will start back um, doing the weekly vlog then because of um, just have a few days off of filming. It doesn't mean to say there won't be some videos going up. I've got a few flip throughs that I can put up if I want to. But I, I feel that most people are going to be too busy spending time with their immediate family if they got family and they're not going to want to be watching uh, YouTube. They might, might watch some things but they're probably more going to be interested in watching TV on TV, you know, like um, streaming and films and stuff like that and they are going to be watching me rattle on about what's not happening but I will do a colour and chat straight after Boxing Day I might even film it Boxing Day or on the weekend I don't know because the weekly vlog I'm going to finish early on Christmas Eve and it's going to go up on Christmas Eve so I've got those days off so I might I might do it on on the Sunday night ready to go up on the Monday And then the weekly vlog will just show everything we got at Christmas. If, if anybody's interested, you know, like uh, what I got. The only thing I'll be filming on Christmas Day is Jennifer opening her presents for my brother to see. And that's it. And I'll be sent direct to him as a, a private link for him to go and watch. Because uh, he can't be here this year, sadly. He lives in New Zealand. At the moment, um, the UK is really cut, cut off, which is, in a way, it's good. It's how it should be, because a lot of Europe is banning in and out travel from the UK because of this new strain that they've discovered of COVID. There's going to be more new strains before the end is nigh anyway, but so nothing's coming in and out of the ports um you can't go to certain countries they're block they're literally banning travel in and out from europe and this is the other countries and in a way that might be good yeah it feels very 28 days later <laughs> i don't know Anyway, I'm not worried about it, yeah. They're saying about things that we're going to have shortages because the food won't be getting in. Um, the only thing we're going to be short of is things that we imported. We can make a lot of stuff ourselves here. We, we grow a lot of our own fruit and vegetables. It's just things that we have out of season that we have to import in. We just have to do without like they used to in the old days. At the end of the world. Oh, that one goes up here, so that one. Right, I have finished. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let's have a quick look. Here she is, our lovely Christmas girl, hanging up her little stocking. Hoping for nice treasures from Santa Claus. 
if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below i know this is a really short one it's not not quite 30 minutes and i'm going to end it very quickly because the camera will cut off in a minute i really hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one very very soon bye guys